This video is not for you. This video is for your wife, your girlfriend, your husband, your life partner, or whatever other constellation of relation that'll be flowing some goodies to you this Christmas. Because you better believe that your significant other is looking at you and thinking to themselves, what do I get the man who has everything? And actually the answer is super, super simple. Something on this list. So you can stop right here, send them this video, then come back here and sit back, relax and see what you might be getting this Christmas if you've been a good boy. But before we actually dive into the list, a little explanation for those significant others. All of these things are based on EDC, everyday carry. And I've based them on EDC for a couple of reasons. First one, and maybe going out on a limb here, but I'm betting the, the guys that be watching this video, the guy that sent you this video, spends a little bit too much time thinking what he's carrying around in his pockets every day. And second, these things make for much easier gifts. The, the gift giver, you, you don't have to worry about size, about fit, uh, if the whatever it might be has been properly indigo dyed with the right weight of denim by that one monk, not the other monk, just that one monk, somewhere in the foot of Mount Fiji. Because honestly, yeah, these these things matter to us. And we're going to start things off with an item. There's actually a bunch of the items on this list. The Huckberry times Craig Hill EDC kit. It's got a pen for writing things. It's got a knife for cutting things. It's got a keyring for keying things. No, that's keying cars. Don't do that. Or if you are, the knife's probably better for doing it. No, don't do that. That's a bad idea. Back on track, Matt. Okay, what else does it have? Oh yeah, and it's got this little capsule. They say it's for Breathmints and Advil. I say they've never been to a Berlin club. And it comes in this nice handy little presentation box, which is perfect for wrapping up and being found under the tree. Right, but let's have a look at some other picks of pretty much the same sort of stuff. Starting off with, let's start off with the keychain. This one from ATEC Innovations looks perfect. Not for the Phillips driver, not for the hex wrench, not for the bottle opener, although that probably will come in handy at some point. The main point is this has got a holder for, for an air tag, which is going to come in very, very useful for that time that you kind of inevitably lose your keys. Now, I guess I have to say here that the air tag isn't included, but hopefully you would know that you guys are sensible. And uh, there's also a seven in one if you want a bunch of other things on your air tag holder that you're probably not going to use. Next up, a pen. Now, I always, always, always carry a pen. It's just, it's very, very easy when you're out there to find something to write on. Very difficult to find something to write with. So having a pen in your pocket is very, very useful. And in, in my search over the decades looking for the perfect pen, I've tried everything from Mont Blanc to Lamy to Parker and everything in between. I hit on the Quico the brass one, a couple of years ago. And since then, I've just never looked back. This thing is built like a tank and a tank could run over it. And after the tank could run over it, if it wasn't in your pocket at the time, then you could write an angry note to the tank driver. It is a little bit on the heavy side, I'll admit that. If you're looking for something lighter and the weight is a concern for you, then the, the plastic versions are just as ergonomic, just as good, maybe not quite as tank proof. But on a day-to-day -day basis, is that really a concern? I hope not. Okay, a knife. And I'm scared now because my last knife recommendation got some really nasty comments. Some of them cut deep. <laughs> anyway, um, I, okay, I mean, I still really like this Wesson Titanium Almond, Almond, whatever it was called. But I also like this, this Leatherman here. I mean, okay, knife snobs. You'd love a Leatherman, right? I'll make a deal with you. Instead of giving me grief, just give me some recommendations. I want small. I want foldable and I want one of those things where you can easily flick it out and it can look cool in EDC videos. Uh, go. I might still get this Leatherman. I probably will. Okay, moving on to notepads. Now, I have absolutely no short term memory. None whatsoever. That means that my, my life, it runs on to-do lists and the to-do lists are written down into little notebooks. These ones are from Moleskine. They are okay, I guess. But when I'm done with the three pack that I got to try these out, 
I'm going to go back to field notes. They're just, they're way better. The paper's better, the binding's better, and since they're not black, I can actually write on the cover what's going to be inside. Now going from the old school to the new school, like it or not, life revolves around these fucking things. And those fucking things are hungry. They require power. I don't really like being that guy with a charging cable, stalking around cafes, looking for an outlet. I much prefer to be that guy with a cable hanging out of his pocket with a charging brick. The problem is most charging blocks are dull, unimaginative lumps of plastic. This one from Bare Bones is a little bit different. I don't really know what it looks like, and I'll probably be snapping that handle off pretty quickly, but you must admit it looks better than the plastic bricks. Now let's turn to something to put all of these bits and pieces in, a bag. And I'm still for the tote bag. And I think I mentioned in another video, the best one I've found so far is, is the Filson Rugged Twill Canvas tote bag. I think that's what it was called. Anyway, maybe a slight problem with tote bags is that they are just the problem and the brilliance of tote bags is that they're just one big volume. So let's pimp them out a little bit by adding this tote insert from Dispatch. This is just one of these simple ideas that you think to yourself like, okay, A, why didn't I think of that? And B, why haven't these been around forever? And these will make, not even just the fill someone, these will make any tote bag you like a viable everyday bag. Okay, let's get back to some things to put in this bag. A full disclosure here, what I'm about to say is gonna make me sound like a crazy person, but bear with me. So, along with the ability to be able to write things down or being able to cut things when I need to, I also like to have the ability to set things on fire when that need arises. This is just a long-winded and slightly scary way to say that I think a lighter makes a very good gift. And really, why look further than a Zippo? It's iconic, it's classic, and it's a very, very good lighter, with one caveat. You, you get the, the Zippo lighter, you open it up, you take out that, that insert with the wick and the wool, and you throw it away, and you buy one of these butane ones. This just makes this Zippo lighter actually practical, because before it was, was not practical at all, it's actually a bit of a waste of time. They come in any number of metals and motifs and designs and, some are great, some are really not so great. I, you know your, your partner, like pick their poison and don't pick their poison literally, but uh, don't kill anybody, buy them a lighter. Okay, I'm moving on to something slightly less scary. Uh, now, as minimalist as I try to be with my EDC, doing this thing and this photography thing uh, as a living means that I do end up carrying around a lot of gear. And trying to keep that shit in some semblance of order is a constant headache. Now, the best way I've found to keep these things organized is to put the different bits and pieces into little little pouches. Um, and I've just kind of gathered these up throughout the months and years. Going forward, I want to be much, much more intentional. And these ones from Billy Kirk look perfect. They come in a variety of sizes, they come in a variety of colors, so you can be really as OCD as you like when organizing all your bits and pieces. Now, how many is that? Nine? 10? And how many should I do? 14? Seems about right for absolutely no reason at all. Okay, so number nine or number 10, I don't know which. Um, hmm. Okay, right, we're gonna go with this. So uh, the, the most frequently asked question in my household to my wife is, sweetheart, do you know where my keys my wallet, my phone, my AirPods, my self-respect, where are they? Basically, where are all the things that I have to gather around me so I can get out of your hair? This problem became a lot, lot less when I got myself one of these valet trays. That's basically a, a container of some sort to put all of your stuff in that you need to gather up before you leave the house. And this one from Billy Kirk looks pretty good. It's made of natural veg tanned leather, so it's gonna patina up beautifully the longer you use it. Right, I should have cleared these things away long before now for the sake of some sort of continuity. Right, number 11. And next up is something that I really thought I would never end up using, and it became one of my favorite, favorite things. It's this little AirPod case from Show Your Hem. And it solves one of the major, major problems with AirPods. See this little like pill here, this little case? This is basically friction free and 
you end up dropping this, or at least I end up dropping this a lot. When you do drop it, it springs open and the AirPods fly out and uh, yeah, they distribute themselves down drains. This thing here helps by first giving some grip so I don't drop it quite as often. And when I do drop it, it stops the thing springing open and it stops me losing the AirPods down drains. It's made from natural veg tan leather, so it's gonna patina up beautifully, just like the valet tray. And it's just, it's a nice thing. This one is obviously for the AirPods Pro version. There is a normal AirPods version. Uh, one tip when you're getting this, um, so they make these specially, and I, I think you could request, so normally they come with a little sort of clip so you can hang on your belt. That was just getting in the way, so I ended up cutting that off. Have a think about how you're actually gonna use this thing and maybe ask them to leave that off. Or not, depending if you want these hanging on your belt. Ugh. See, I, I drop these things all the time, Jesus. <clears throat> oh, and yeah, there's a link down below to the Show Your Hand website, along with all of the things in this list. There's actually discount codes that the guys from Show Your Hand have been hooking us up with for quite a while now, so yeah, you can use that and yeah, also, this little case is from them, and my wallet, and a belt that I'm not wearing today. They do really good leather stuff. Right, I think we're up to number 12. What I wanted to do is give you a recommendation for some sunglasses, but getting somebody a pair of sunglasses is kind of like buying them a pair of jeans. It's impossible. And the chances are they've probably got a pair that they really like anyway. So what you can do is give them something to keep the pair that they really like, safe. And a good way to do that is with the sunglasses case from Mr. Peepers. No, it's not from Mr. Peepers, it's from WP Standard. It's called Mr. Peepers, which is a horrible, horrible name. It sounds like a pervert. Guys, you should change that, really. But it's still a fantastic design of a case for sunglasses or glasses. I guess both would do. What I never liked about sunglasses cases or glasses cases is that they had, or a lot of them have a snap in the middle, and no matter if the back of the snap's covered up, so it's not gonna scratch anything, or it's not directly on the lenses, it's still putting pressure onto the bridge of the glasses, and that can't be good. This gets around that by just having a leather strap that winds around about. Okay, the next one is kind of a tricky one, but if you do get it right, then it's a gift that's just gonna keep on giving, and that is a cologne. And specifically, it's a solid cologne. I am all about a person finding their signature scent, as much as I actually really hate that phrase, but I really think that it is just as much a part of the fit as a good pair of jeans, a good pair of trousers, a good jacket, whatever. And indeed, it's probably the thing that the person remembers the next time he's gonna meet you. You know, scents do that whole sort of memory triggering thing. So yeah, finding the right one, very, very important. And the problem that I find with eau de toilettes or eau de parfum, they need topping up throughout the day. Like a little scoosh in the morning is going to wear off around about lunchtime, if you're doing it right, if you're not soaking yourself in it. I, one solution that I tried was like these little travel things you're meant to decant some of the perfume into. They don't work, trust me. What does work is one of these solid colognes. It comes in a little tin, looks a little bit like lip balm. It's a sort of waxy consistency, and if it's a good one, then it should only have all natural ingredients. The ones I've been using recently are these ones here from Upstate Stop. They are great, honestly. Like, they smell really, really wonderful. The best thing about them is that they're 14 bucks. So for the price of a very, very middle of the road eau de toilette, then you could get all of these and you can just see what your partner likes. And better still, when the, your partner does find the one that they like, Upstate Stock also has soaps and creams and other things that are exactly the same smell, so you've got Christmas next year completely sorted. Oh, and that solid part means that they're not gonna leak, they're not gonna spill. Uh, these little tins, they're sort of coin pocket size, so they're very, very EDC friendly. Right, the final one is not really EDC, but it is something that I use every single day and it's from one of my favorite brands, so I want to give them a shout out. And that is these here cabin slippers from Sullivan Gloves. If your significant other has been listening to me at all, they should already have a pair of gloves from Sullivan Gloves. If they don't, then get them a pair of gloves. If they do, then get them a pair of these cabin slippers. They are just so, so damn good. They are perfect in the summertime where you can just lounge around barefoot, not barefoot, but wearing these with no socks. 
Winter time, pair of cozy socks, these on top, it's just, it's, it's, it's luxury and it's so much better than your normal grandpa slippers. And let's get these off the table because they belong on the floor. And that's it. That was, I don't know, I've lost count, 12 to 15 things that would really make exceptionally good presents this Christmas. And I know, there was, there was no garments involved in this list. As I said at the beginning, that's intentional. If you are really set on getting your partner a piece of clothing for Christmas, then consider checking out one of these two videos. They're reasonably recent and all the pieces in those videos are also exceptional.